Hey guys! <laughs> so today's going to be a eyebrow tutorial. Lots and lots of you guys have been asking me to show you guys how I fill in my brows because you know that I've just started filling in my eyebrows probably only for about a month or so. Um, and the reason that I have is because um, I used to get my eyebrows threaded and I got them threaded for probably about two or three years maybe. Yeah, two or three years. No, probably longer than that. Maybe almost four years now. And before that, I used to get them waxed. I cannot pluck my eyebrows to save my life. It hurts me so much worse, like when I pull one little baby hair, rather than when I get them waxed or threaded. I did used to get them waxed when I was like about 16, all the way up until I was like 21 or something like that. But I've always tanned. Um, I've always been tanned. So anytime I would get my eyebrows waxed, it would rip, you know, that top layer of skin off. So when I'd put my makeup on, I'd have like a white line here. And people would be like, girl, you need to blend in your makeup. Um... I know how to blend my makeup. Thank you. That's from waxing. So I did a little research and found out that I had threading available to me. The first time I got my eyebrows threaded, it hurt so bad, but I got used to it and it was amazing because when you get your eyebrows threaded, it's just removing the hair. It's not removing any skin, so it's a lot better for you. Um, if you do get your eyebrows done, I do suggest getting them threaded. The only thing that stops me from going to get them threaded now is the girl that was doing my eyebrows, she moved away. So I had to get them done by somebody else and that person Person, I guess every time I went they just got thinner and thinner and thinner you guys will see in the video I do it with no makeup on because that's you know it's just a lot easier to do your eyebrows first than to do them last um so yeah I think that's it if you guys have any questions just ask me but do keep in mind that I have only been filling in my eyebrows for probably like a month or so so I'm still experimenting but so far what I'm using I really like and I like you know how it looks so if you guys want to see how I do my brows, then just keep watching the video. So as you can see um, by my eyebrows, they are pretty, they're still dark. Um, a lot of people fill in their eyebrows because they are like sparse hairs or whatnot. I use the Revlon Brow Fantasy in number, I'm sorry, I use it in dark brown. Just work at the top first. Kind of drawing a straight line. And then I'm going to bring it up and extend, kind of push my arch up a little more. Using very light strokes. And as you can see, like, that brow looks better than this brow already. Then with, like, really light strokes, I kind of just go over the brow first I extend it just a little bit and then what I do is I will take a light auburn colored pencil kind of lift up my eye and then I can see like my skin I can see where there's like sparse hairs at so I will kind of just go over with the lighter pencil because my hair is red now so I don't want to fill them in black so when I do go over the, with this light auburn color, it kind of is like tinting my brows, like a lighter color. Like that. Because I do have red hair, like I said, I use the NYX Plush Red Lip Liner. And very easily, like very carefully, like go over your eyebrows with this because it, it does come off pretty bright in the daylight. <laughs> So I kind of just go over what I already did with the red, just to give my brows like a red tint. Just brush them out a little bit, not really hard, I just want to make sure the hairs are in place because you don't want to lose any of your color. And as you can see how much better this brow looks already than this brow. Then I'll show you how I clean this up. I'm going to take the 10 color palette concealer, which just, you know, looks like this. Um, and then a very small brush, and I'm going to go in with the lightest color. So this just cleans it up and makes it look really, like, polished. And also, it cleans up any of your mistakes that you might have made. Take it right under. And then I'll just take a Sigma brush 
and kind of blend out that line under there. With the same brush in a shade a little bit closer to my skin tone, I'll go in and use a concealer. I don't like to use a white concealer on the top of my eyebrow because um, I don't want like a harsh white line. And again, the top part of the eyebrow is optional. I just like to do it because I feel like it just cleans up my eyebrows a lot. Like that. Kind of go to the front a little bit. Kind of blend it out with that same brush. Look at that eyebrow and look at that eyebrow. Way better. More polished, nice, arch, thick, defined brow. And then the other one is just kind of all sparse and not the business. So that's how I do my eyebrows. And then after I do my makeup and everything like that, I will set them with a brow gel. Just a ugh with a brow gel. This is just from Maybelline and it's just the Great Lash. You know, it's just a clear, you know, mascara, brow gel, whatever you want to call it. They're really, really inexpensive. And then I will just brush them out once more with a spoolie. Um, I do that after I do my makeup. I don't do it before because, you know, when you put eyeshadow on, then your brows kind of get like white eyeshadow from your highlight and stuff like that. I'll show you them up close. Yeah, I really enjoy having my thicker brows back because I'm somebody that likes thick brows. I didn't even notice that my brows were getting so thin and losing their shape and everything like that. So if you do get your eyebrows thinner, just be very, very careful. Um, pay attention to them because I, I didn't even notice that my eyebrows were getting so thin until I woke up one day, looked in the mirror, and I was like, oh god, where are my brows? <laughs> so if you have any questions, please make sure you check the bottom bar first. And if your answer is not in there, just leave it down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Lost lighting, maybe I should wait. Hello, sandwich press in the video. Okay. Come on. I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, <sighs> Please leave them below.